I fully believe if people learn and apply the information I'm gonna be sharing with you today, it would transform their lives, more specifically, their relationships. And then maybe we wouldn't see 90% of relationships before the age of 30 ending in heartbreak, or we wouldn't see 50% of marriages ending in divorce. This is a seven point checklist that you need to check off before getting into a relationship. The golden rule within relationships is you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. Your partner will generally be a direct reflection of where you're currently at in life. So you better make sure that you're the person that you wanna be before you go out and find a partner. Who you decide to spend the rest of your life with will be the biggest career choice that you ever make. This is what Warren Buffett said, the world's greatest investor, and he knows a thing or two about creating a fulfilling and successful life. So let's get into it. Number one on the list is you've driven past Slut City. Now I know what you're thinking, bear with me. Slut City is a place that someone goes, usually in their younger life, where they want to experience the short-lived pleasures of dating. It's usually a phase where they want to sleep around and get into trouble without any pressures of a long-term commitment. Now, not everyone goes through such city, but many people do. And if you're one of those people, it's best you get it out of your system. Because the number one thing that kills serious relationships is curiosity. People wanting sexual selection, but instead they've fully committed to the first person they ever got to. And they've never been through Slut City and got it out of their system. So number one, if you're wanting to commit yourself to a long-term relationship that'll work, Ensure you've both been through Slut City. Make sure you got out of your system. Number two on the list is healing your wounds and insecurities. Within a relationship, your romantic partner will be the biggest mirror for you, shining back everything that you don't like about yourself. Because as you commit more and more to a relationship, you're allowing the other person to see more and more of yourself. And if there's things that you don't like about yourself, if you feel shame, embarrassment, insecurities about something, you sure as shit better realize that stuff's gonna come to the surface as you move deeper and deeper in the relationship. So before you enter a relationship, it's really important to recognize that your insecurities are your responsibility. There's nothing more unattractive than a defensive partner. It's not your future partner's responsibility to walk on eggshells around you. So number two is to heal the wounds and insecurities that you're currently aware of before you have to do it in the relationship. And then number three is to actually know what you want. The reason most people don't get what they want in life is because they don't know what they want in life. And when it comes to your romantic partner being the biggest decision you ever make, you better get clear on exactly what you want. The most important things to consider when choosing a partner is number one, their values. What's deeply important to them? Number two is their goals. So what are they wanting to achieve in this life? Number three is their personality type. So what are they like as a person? Number four is their affection level. So how intimate and close do they wanna be? And number five, do they work for themselves or do they work for someone else? If you want a free guide on exactly how to choose the right partner, it's all in the free ebook, which you can grab in the description right now. So number three was to know what you want so you can find someone that'll fit into your life. Let's move on to number four, which is sort out your six inches. I'm talking about this six inches between your ears. 99% of the suffering in someone's life happens in their mind. So it's really important that you set your mind up right before entering a relationship. The main thing is, are you your own best friend or your own worst critic? Having a positive mindset is absolutely vital. Imagine being with someone where all they did was spoke down about themselves. That's pretty unattractive, right? Or what about being with someone that worried and overthought about everything, constantly checking on you? It'd be so tiring to date someone like that. So number four is to think about how your mind's set up before entering the relationship. It's so important to have a good attitude. That will make a huge difference to whether that relationship will succeed or not. Number five, do you actually enjoy your life? More specifically, your work. Because imagine being with someone who spent 40 hours a week doing something that they didn't enjoy. It'd have a massive strain on the relationship, right? Are you enthusiastic and passionate about the work you do? Are you proud to tell people what you do? Does your work bring you a sense of meaning and purpose? If your answers wasn't a confident yes to those previous questions, and it's really important that you find something that you actually enjoy before entering a relationship. And then number six is closely linked. This is your finances. This is the biggest cause of argument within relationships and marriages. People feel so much stress when it comes to money. It's such a taboo subject. The word money can literally make some people cringe. So guess what you can do before entering a relationship? Sort out your finances. Here's some tips. Number one, work on your money mindset. So you come in from a place of abundance rather than a place of lack. Number two, stop spending on shit you don't need. Unused subscriptions and fast food are the two biggest culprits. Number three, work out how much it costs to be you and how much does your rich life cost? Number four, develop a high income skill so you can increase your earning capacity. And then number five is financial literacy. Learn the language of money. And then number six is learn about investing. Create a financial plan for your future. It's so, so important to sort your finances out. This is the biggest cause of stress for so many people. And when you enter a relationship with that stress around money, it's just gonna amplify the arguments within that relationship. And then finally, number seven is to learn your attachment style so you understand what your needs are. Attachment styles are absolutely vital within a relationship. There's three main attachment styles. There's anxious, there's secure, and then there's avoidant. Anxious individuals really crave closeness and need constant reassurance. And then the avoidant types really need independence to maintain their sense of self. And then the secure individuals in the middle, they're comfortable with that closeness 
and they're also comfortable with autonomy. When an anxious gets into a relationship with an avoidant, it's an emotional roller coaster. The anxious person wants closeness and reassurance, while the avoidant person wants distance and a sense of self. It's so important to know this before entering a relationship. I made a video breaking down exactly what you need to know when it comes to the attachment styles. You can watch that video after this one. So they are the seven checkboxes that you need to tick off before entering a relationship. The quality of your life comes down to the quality of your relationships. So you better make sure that you become a high value person so you can attract the high value person. After coaching hundreds of people and investing over $50,000 in different coaches and trainings, what I learned is your knowledge around relationships and your personal development is the greatest predictor for a thriving relationship. And it gets to be simple. So I've condensed all this information into a simple free ebook which you can grab in the description right now. If you're one to become a high value person so you can gain the knowledge to actually master your relationships, this book will be a game changer. You can grab it for free. It'll take 20 minutes to go through and I promise it'll be the highest ROI you can get for your time. I'm super excited for you to grab it and dive deeper into the topic of mastering your relationships. Thank you so much for watching. I know there's a million other things you could be watching, but you've decided to invest into your personal growth by watching this video. So congratulations. Subscribe to the channel where we'll be posting weekly videos on all things relationships. We'll see you next week.